Hello everybody, my name is Shrey Ninzi and as you can see I have really bad acne. If you guys watch any videos on my channel, y'all know I got really bad acne and we're trying to figure out how to get it all calmed down you guys and I just want to say thank you so so much for all of your support, your love, your concern for my skin. So today, if you guys couldn't tell, it's a little bit brighter in here. I'm still trying to figure out this whole shenanigans situation, all that good jazz. Y'all know what I'm saying. Let's get it. Let's, let's get it. Anybody know who I'm talking about? Let's get it. I don't know. Let's get it. Like, let's, let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it. I've been spending too much time on YouTube lately. Homemade espresso, where you at? I asked you guys um, if you would want me to do a chatty get ready with me and you guys all said, a majority of you guys said yes, so thank you guys so much for responding to that. Um, I'm just going to try and multitask and get my makeup started here today. So if you guys saw I have a new white situation i got it on amazon actually I'm just looking over here for what am i doing i'm all over the place um got it on amazon i'll link it down below still trying to figure out this whole lighting situation because in person it's like ah it looks amazing like i can see everything that I'm dealing with on my face but on the camera it's like really really bright and I'm trying to just get everything like even and stuff it came with these little um, like diffusers. so this is like a warm tone diffuser so I'll have to try these out sometime I don't feel like setting that up right now but I thought I would kind of just get a little bit personal with you guys kind of talk you through because some of you guys really don't know too much about me besides the fact that I have acne and I've struggled with it for quite a decent amount of time um, but I've really been struggling with acne since about 2016 and only this severe acne since 2017 like maybe November of 2017 it was really bad all of 2017 but it got really severe in November 2017 if you guys followed my like acne struggles video you guys would seen that I think and there I disclosed that I took a hormone thinking that it would help with my acne and that's what they thought would help with that situation when in fact it actually made it bajillions times worse it made it horrible so I'm still coming down from that my skin cleared up really well and then now we're faced with this situation right now so that's kind of what's going on so I'm gonna go ahead and dive into my current favorite foundation right now my skin has been changing so much it used to be actually more normal to dry with a little bit of oil like in the t-zone but not like horrible but now I am so oily it's not even funny I can't even have makeup on for a couple hours without it like killing my face and I tried this out a while ago I'll leave that video linked down below but um, this foundation actually works out for me really well since my skin is so insanely oily <laughs> right now so I mixed two colors this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation and even with this like my skin wants to break break the foundation apart it's kind of annoying so this is the Superstay foundation in 110 and 120 so I mix the both of these together my little palette here I got this on Amazon as well and it really depends on I am a little bit tan right now if you couldn't tell and sometimes I use the pure stick you know we'll just we'll just add it we'll just we'll just cake it on today you know what I mean okay sometimes I do I do a little bit of that situation if you guys haven't seen this video oh I really really like this foundation long story short check that out so to kind of talk to you guys about some of the things people are saying on YouTube like I really really appreciate some of you guys being like hey like you know I have acne too and this is what helped me and the really I really really appreciate it like some of the things you know I really want to try out but 
when I get comments kind of like, you need to wash your face, you need to see a dermatologist using the Sigma F80. I have an affiliate link if you guys want to use that. Please and thank you. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. Um, people are like, you know, you need to try this, this, and this. You need to wash your face. That's what really bothers me is people are like, oh my gosh, you have such bad acne. You need to be washing your face. You need to be seeing a dermatologist. You need to try this skincare, this skincare. And it's like, it's a little bit frustrating. And if you suffer from acne too, you know, people are telling you these things to, you know, just out of the kindness of their heart and they're concerned and they want to help. But it's like, you don't think I haven't tried everything under the flippin' sun. Like, I've literally tried so many things it's not even funny so it's like um yeah of course I wash my face like I am the most anal person when it comes to washing my face and skincare like I will never ever sleep in my makeup because I really don't want to have to deal with that like the consequences of that at all like I really like I really don't just wiping off the foundation around my mouth um like I really don't because I know like I don't want my skin to look worse than it already does and people a lot of you guys have actually suggested me to use Curology which is amazing because I'm already using that system <laughs> I'm already using um Curology and the people there are so, so nice. Um, they really, really work with you to see, you know, what can help, you know, your skin. Like, they want your skin to look great. And you can ask them any kind of questions they want. They've really, really helped me. The thing is, like, I've changed my formula I don't know how many times and it worked for me for like almost a year and then it just stopped working so they're like okay let's change your formula that formula didn't work i've tried so many formulas so many formulas have even like broken me out like it's gotten to the point where i've realized that it's not something topical it's something internal which brings me to my next point where some of you guys are like yo you need to change your diet because um you know, your skin is affected by your diet. And I totally, 100%, like, 100% agree with that. The thing is, you guys don't know, I'm already on an insanely restricted diet already. If you guys see, like, this coverage is pretty insane. It looks awesome. And then I use the same concealer situation, Tarte Shape Tape and Instant Age Rewind. This one is in the color Light Neutral, and then this one is in the color Fair. So one of them is really light, one of them is like too dark for me right now. So you just mix the two and it's a happy situation. Like I said, I'm already on a really restricted diet. I've been gluten free since 2012. Oh my gosh, I've been gluten free for like six years. I've been dairy free since 2011, maybe? So 2012, 2013 situation for gluten free and dairy free. But it got to the point where like my stomach was hurting all the time. So I don't eat gluten or dairy. I'm very restricted on a lot of gluten free things as well. Like I have a problem with corn. Um, I don't eat red meat anymore, period. And I, I've stopped eating red meat for about a year. Um, what other things? And all of this, oh, I can't eat onions, a lot of spices I can't have either. And all of that was blood tested for me, that I was actually allergic to these things. So I'm on a very, like, restricted diet. And some of you guys said, yo, you need to cut out processed foods and sugar. That I totally agree with, but that is really, really, really hard for me when I'm working. And I don't have time to, like, cook stuff all the time. It's just easy sometimes to take, like, a gluten-free, you know, microwave, you know, 
meal situation and my diet is so limited already that it really overwhelms me when I have to eliminate even more and I know sugar is a huge one okay sometimes I set my under eyes with the uh, Maybelline fit me powder just to kind of give me a little bit of a brighter under eye situation if you guys are really oily can you recommend to me a really good powder that will keep me matte like I you can see I take oh that was too much oh too much oh no too much too much this Laura Mercier powder is just too expensive um recommend to me some good powders because your girl would love to know and I set the rest of my face with the covergirl clean matte powder the biggest source of sugar for me is coffee which um, I've realized I can actually not I have a problem with caffeine which <laughs> so I cannot drink like coffee and I didn't realize this but coffee actually has more caffeine in it than espresso and I've always been drinking like lattes espresso situations macchiatos all that good jazz I've been drinking that stuff for you know maybe for like three years or something um but I started noticing my skin would break out and get really oily instantly after drinking coffee and I didn't know what it was and so I did some research and people some people process caffeine differently and coffee actually has way more caffeine in it than espresso and I, I could put like some information in this video just to kind of back up what I'm saying because I know some of you guys would be like no I don't know what you're talking about girl what you always those people always and I know you guys are trying to help me but the girl gotta defend herself and I got I don't know how youtubers do makeup with like nice clothes on because I make a mess it's a horrible mess I don't even know. so enough about the diet thing but that's that's the diet next one is you shouldn't be wearing so much makeup if you have acne sis let me tell you, I don't wear makeup every day of the week. There are some days where I go like two or three days in a row without wearing makeup. And on the days that I used to cake a full face every single day, I didn't have acne. Which again, it makes me think there's something going on internally because, and I'm not about shoving medication in my body and things like that I that is my absolute last 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 resort like there's something going on hormonally or whatever but like I don't know if you guys have ever tried anything besides Accutane because they're prescribing Accutane nowadays like it's like it's Claritin like I <laughs> it's it's kind of a ridiculous situation I've gotten so many new makeup palettes, you guys. If you guys want me to do like a haul of all of the makeup palettes that I've gotten recently, leave a comment, like this video, do the YouTube thing, whatever you guys want to do, let me know. I'm going to do the look I did yesterday. Yesterday I popped out this um, Lime Crime Venus 2 palette. Can we just admire these colors? I'm going to take off this thing here. Can we just admire this beautiful situation? really good palette that I would recommend is the Milani Most Loved Mattes. This palette, you guys, is so good. Like, it's just every single matte shade you could ever imagine. It's in there. So I'm going to take just, like, a fluffy brush here and pick one of these. I'm not doing a tutorial. Just doing an eyeshadow look. So we'll pick... A brown transition situation oh that was a little much but that's okay so blending brushes are for to blend 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 <laughs> so I don't wear makeup all the time I only really wear it just to do those like foundation review situations um, and 
And everybody's like, no wonder you have acne, you're wearing all that makeup. I don't wear this heavy of makeup all the time, and I used to wear this heavy of makeup every day for super long periods of time. Like if I have makeup on, it's not for very long. The one with this beautiful mustard color, that's actually called mustard, this one right here. <gasps> it is so pretty. So that's kind of my spiel about my acne and kind of some of you guys, you know, wondering about my skin. And again, I still haven't found something that really has helped my skin tremendously. So I just blended this yellowy mustard kind of like almost to the inner corner, but not quite. So, now I'm going to take, I kind of rediscovered some of my ColourPop, like, little singles here, and I'm going to take this one in Fringe, with this, which is this, like, really pretty, I don't even know what, but it's best to use your finger, and I kind of just plop this right in the... that inner third. It's like you could totally go matte, but I kinda am living for this little bit of glittery sunshine. I don't even remember what I was talking about anymore. But anyway, so that's kind of like my whole acne spiel situation. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and stuff off camera because that takes a hot minute. I use the Milani Stay Put Matte Liner. This is amazing. And I use it in combination with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner to do like the wing part. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. <laughs> we back. I got my brows on, got my liner on, got my mascara on. We are good to go, we Gucci. Currently using the contour color from the TARDIS Pro Glow palette. I should probably throw this thing away because it's like two years old, but we all know it has an expiration date, but we don't throw makeup away. <laughs> if it's a powder, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Ooh, contour looking. It looks really harsh on camera, but it's not that harsh in person. And then for bronze, and for bronzer, I actually got this at TJ Maxx. They were selling some of the Becca foundations, and this is the Perfect Skin Mineral Powder Foundation in the color Amber, and this is way too dark for me, but I was like, that's a perfect bronzer color, so let me just hijack that real quick. Got this at TJ Maxx, like I said, for like, I don't know, $12 or something, I can't even remember. But I was shocked. I was like, it's amazing. And I'm still obsessed with this Sigma um, Aura Powder. So it's like a blush color. And this one's in the color Cor de Rosa. And then we're going to use a little setting spray. This is the Slay All Day. I need all the help I can get. And then while it's still damp, I like going in with um, my highlight. Today I'm going to do, not the bronzer, I'm going to do Moonstone by Becca. I've bought two of these. So this is my second one. I've hit pan on it. Can you see? Okay, this side is a little bit, oh, see? This side's a little bit more wet. Still. And then I'm going to using my House of Lashes lashes in Siren here. These are my favorite lashes. You can now get them at Riley Rose as well, but I always get mine on the House of Lashes um, website when they have like coupons because they always have like such amazing um, deals. Like I'll buy like a bunch of them when it's like 20% off or whatever. Okay, what lip do we do? Lashes be on. We're gonna do some little bottom mascara action here. Colossal Express by Maybelline. Oh, her. Oh, her. Okay. <laughs> Can't do it like Cardi B. Let's go with something. I really like this color, Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills. 
it's very similar to Tansy by ColourPop. Very similar. Let's try this Tansy situation. I'm feeling these fall vibes. Yesterday I was full on leggings and sweater and oh that is dark. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. Um, but like it was freaking 80 degrees. <laughs> like it was fall and then it wasn't anymore. So thank you guys so much for watching this chatty get ready with me let me know if you guys want more of these types of videos or what kind of videos you guys want in general um i know i'm mainly known for doing like foundation reviews which i'm perfectly fine doing which i love doing actually it's just i want more recommendations from you guys on foundations that are i guess a little bit more easily accessible maybe or ones that I mean if you guys know some really weird ones that you guys want me to try let me know um, I really like the fact that you guys say oh my gosh thank you so much for trying this foundation on normal skin like this is normal real life skin because girl we all know my skin is far 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 from perfect and it's kind of hard to relate to some of those YouTubers that have more flawless skin or acneic skin that isn't really oily and is more dry or something or, you know, more normal acneic skin, you know what I mean? So, because, you know, my skin literally is the worst of the worst and I want to try, you know, try it on a real, like on a real person, you know what I mean? Kind of help you guys out in that way. So let me know some foundations, some things, you guys, and I'm having a blast making these videos. Um, I'm planning on uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern, or 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, so let me know if you guys are into that upload schedule or if you guys want me to upload at different times. Let me know in the comment section. I always read as many of the comments as I can. You guys are so awesome and just interacting with me and I really appreciate that. So thank you guys so much again. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I have an Instagram, it's at Shrey Ninzi. Um, I don't really post too much makeup stuff on there. It's kind of more just like random photos and me trying to be a model and all, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day.